KD got pulled from that last game because of uh, COVID testing stuff. Like somebody was around and like tested positive or something. Um, and so like first they pulled, and then they let him play. Then like they came came the positive test came back and they pulled him again. And his streak of most games with ten or more points came to an end. Which I think it was like a, I think that this point it was a, it was some insane number of games, basically his entire career. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um. And uh, they of course lost to the seventy sixes. Um. Let me pull up the recent string. Yeah, they they lost to. 76ers and they lost to the Raptors um, in back to back in a back to back, um, which you know that had to be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, like it's one. Of, also, they apparently are going to sign a uh, Noah Volhe Vole. Oh, pronounced Noah Vonley. Yeah, Vonley. My bad. Wait, who is the net? The net? The net. Noah Vonley. Oh, why do you get Noah Vonley? I know that's like the one of the only available bigs, but why <laughs> Noah Vonley? Like, he don't, he don't even do nothing. Do we punch people? At least, like, go get Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis at least break somebody's jaw. You want to get this? Well, I mean, like, consider, right? It, for some reason, there's some, like, of course, there's some contingent of NBA and or Nets fans or KD fans, what have you, who, like, are apparently hoping that, like, the Cavs buy out players. They have no incentive to, like, buy out or waive or release or whatever. Or whatever. Um, and, like, because they traded for Harden, they have nothing else. Like, there's nothing else of value there that they would be willing to move. Like, they're not about to move KD. Not about to move Harden. They're probably not about to move Kyrie. And <laughs> like, I don't think anybody wants Jordan for real. And like, even if they did, like, apparently he got like he's kind of just part of the deal of like having KD and Kyrie there. Um, hey, you know, whoever the owner of the Nets is is just mad every time he got to sign DeAndre Jordan's check. But you don't want to do nothing. I you mean, just tall. yeah, but like, look at it this way: it, keep, it keeps the dudes you actually care about happy. You'll be okay. No, they can be happy without you. I've seen them do it before. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, it's but like, if they they're not in a position to make a trade for real, of course they'd have to trade for Portis. Um. Like, no one's about to buy out, like, good bigs for no reason, right? Um, so you, and, of course, if you're the rest of the league, you don't want you don't want the Nets to get mediocre defense. Like, because then what are you going to do? Like, that's just... You get Bobby Portis. <laughs> well, Go out there and break some jaws, buddy. Yeah, but, like, he's... But like he's, but like you have to wait until until like the fourth quarter for him to do that, so he does something beforehand. I mean, technically speaking, he broke that man's jaw in practice. practice. Yeah. So <laughs> if we could just schedule some time <laughs> where you're outside with the other team's players, we can get that. We can get that worked out, right? You basically right. just wanted to, to roll up on somebody and start a fight. We got to have an enforcer. It's not going to be Kevin Durant. <laughs> but, like, I mean... The you know how Jordan not doing nothing? You know he not getting off the bench? Like, but, like, I guess they, they're, they're supposedly about to sign uh, Vonley. Vonley, because, uh, like, you, they, they, need, they need big men and they need defense. Because they basically have neither, except for... Jordan and he barely counts anymore for one of those. Um, 
So like they got to do something, and like they're just sitting on like they're just sitting on roster spots and cap space. Well, not cap space, but like except like trade exceptions. Um, but of course, it's time the rest of the league. You probably, you probably don't trade with them just because like again, you don't want them getting mediocre defense. But that also assumes they have anything you want to begin with, which outside of the dude that they're not about to move anyway, they probably don't pretty much. Yeah. So, like if nothing else, he's an upgrade over like an empty roster spot, maybe. That's very true. That's very true. Always better than nothing. Um, speaking of always better than nothing, let's talk about Noah Bale's stats. <clears throat> Okay. Noah Vonley. I got to start it off by saying this. This is how you know this. the Nets are in a rough spot. Because this is a guy that Jordan drafted. And this is a forward slash center that Jordan drafted. So you means, that means not much has came of this man's career. And that's probably to no fault of his own. He did play with the Charlotte Hornets for at least four seasons. But to get into his stats, his career high, I'm going to be nice and round up. Seven points per game. Okay. He did that uh, while he was with Chicago for, let's see, 21 games. I'm impressed. Um, he, (laughs) He has played six seasons in the NBA, and he has played for six teams. In the NBA. Because, like, stuff got really rocky after that third year in, um... Wait, no. Has Portland had him for three years? This is P.O.R. This is P.O.R. That's Portland. When did this man get to Portland? Look, I don't know. I He got drafted, and then, like, he's one of them dudes who gets drafted, and you never hear about them again. Son, they traded that man, like, the... After his rookie year, when did how did I forget this? Because you never you can't forget what you never remember. <clears throat> That's so true. Cause something told me to stop watching his career after he got drafted by the Hornets. Cause the Hornets, they don't believe in like making sure their players are good or whatever. Like out of like they don't draft nothing but role players. Except like Recently, but that doesn't count because it's just Lamelo. Well, hasn't um, Washington been good? <clears throat> I said what I said. Hey. In in it's no offense. He's only he's only a rookie. I mean, well, like, he just got off his rookie year. So mm-hmm. at this point, I believe he is a he is a role player. He's a high level role player. That's what he showed as a rookie. I don't know if that's a star. Maybe that could turn into a superstar role player, but today that is we're looking at a a high level role player that is not a star. Yeah, there are worse things to be. Oh, of course. I'm looking at the page for Noah Vonley right now. That's all I gotta say. So it, it is worse things. It is worse things to be. But Noah Vonley played three seasons with the Portland Trailblazers, and I had literally no idea. No. He's also older than me, so that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. 25 and a millionaire. I trade live. And he's 16. I mean, look at it this way, though. Even with Vonley, it's like, at least you're not Anthony Bennett. I mean, more people would know your name if you're Anthony Bennett. Yeah, but not for reasons you'd want them to know it. Why do you know no one knows Vonley's name? I don't know, because I think I remember, like I said, I think I vaguely remember him getting drafted and, like, he was solid in college. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's decent at Indiana. I just I just knew it wasn't going to last because he got drafted by the Hornets. I'm I'm never going to get off Michael Jordan and how bad his, uh, his drafting is. That's... He should be glad LaMelo was in this draft, because you know he was going to find a way to mess this up again. <clears throat> Okay, I'm probably mixing up phrases and, and statements or whatever, but what's that phrase? Those who can't do teach. And like a problem with like a Jordan 
is that like you did and you did it at really really high level so now you don't have patience for other people who can in general unless you know you, you punch them in the face after like they don't fold when you get when you yell at them but that's another thing entirely i heard jordan out here playing these dudes one-on-one he need to punch somebody in the face just I, see I what don't can happen, bro. If you get if you get a lawsuit, you're a billionaire. You fine. You fine. <laughs> right. But like, but like, if he's just out here being super impatient about this stuff, because like the thing is, when you're when you're a player, like how like the exact things that like the front office does, probably like not that they don't concern you, but like they like they like it's not your job. It's not what you need to be worrying about. Yeah. And like, I, like there's just more patience in a more indirect way. Like, you can't draft a kid and then like wonder why he's not putting up twenty a night like you did coming out. Like, most dudes don't do that. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe one day Jordan will like get lucky or like let the dudes he hires do their job. Um, and like the Hornets who are really the Bobcats, will, <laughs> like, not be terrible anymore. They really changed that name. I hope we would forget. No. Bobcats. <clears throat> it's like, no one forgot. We just we just let it ride after a while. Look, one of the worst franchises, one of the worst logos, and somehow still better jerseys than the Wizards. Once again, Calvin McGowan, hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, you know, like, share, subscribe, leave something in the comments. Um, you know, you can also listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You made it this far. You know, once again, thank you. I hope you got a lot done of whatever it was you're working on while listening to this. Um, and yeah, in, enjoy the rest of your day.